You're either paying $80 a year for Norton or McAfee just in case. Or you're one of those people who proudly runs nothing and calls everyone else paranoid. All regard if the entire antivirus industry is just selling you expensive insurance for a problem that doesn't exist anymore. Today, I'll explain modern antivirus software in 2026 like you're five years old. By the end, you'll understand what actually threatens your digital life now. You'll know what's worth paying for and when you're just lighting money on fire to feel safe. Here's the thing everybody gets wrong about modern security. The internet changed, but most people are still fighting yesterday's war with today's threats. Back in 2005, viruses were like vandals spray painting your computer for fun. They'd corrupt your files or turn your cursor into a dancing cartoon character. Annoying and obvious, but your antivirus would catch them and you'd move on. That world is dead and gone forever now. Modern attacks aren't viruses that announce themselves with flashing pop-ups. They're phishing emails that look exactly like PayPal asking you to verify your account, complete with the correct logo, proper formatting, and even legitimate looking sender addresses. They're fake download buttons that install browser extensions you never asked for, ones that track your browsing or inject ads into legitimate websites. They're login pages that clone your bank's website pixel perfect using similar domain names like chase-secure.com instead of chase.com. The biggest threat to your computer in 2026 isn't hiding in a sketchy download. It's sitting between the chair and the keyboard, and that's you. Let's talk about Windows Defender first, because this is where the debate starts. Microsoft's built-in antivirus used to be a complete joke. Remember when McAfee felt like a feature, not bloatware? Those days are over and completely done with now. Windows Defender in 2026 catches traditional threats just fine. Trojans, keyloggers, ransomware. It updates automatically, runs without slowing your computer, and costs zero dollars. Independent testing labs like AV Test consistently rank it alongside paid competitors for detection rates. For most people, it's completely adequate for basic protection. But here's what it can't actually do for you at all. It can't stop you from typing your password into a fake Netflix login page. It can't prevent you clicking allow notifications on a sketchy gambling site that'll spam your desktop with ads for weeks. It can't save you from downloading what looks like a PDF invoice, but is actually malware disguised with a double extension. Defender catches known threats pretty well these days. It's useless against your own bad decisions, though. Now here's where paid antivirus gets interesting in 2026. You're not paying for better virus detection anymore. That gap closed years ago. What you're paying for is the ecosystem of extras. Some features are genuinely useful for most people. Real-time phishing protection that checks URLs before you land on fake sites? Actually valuable if you click first and think later. Ransomware protection that monitors your files and blocks unauthorized encryption? Useful if you store important stuff locally on your computer, like family photos or tax documents you haven't backed up. Webcam blockers that prevent unauthorized camera access? Solid for privacy-conscious people who worry about that. Parental controls that limit websites and screen time? Game changer for parents who can't monitor every YouTube video their kid watches. But most of the bundle is just padding and fluff. Here's what you're actually overpaying for in these bundles. The VPN sounds great, but usually slows your connection and logs your activity anyway, despite promises to the contrary. The PC cleanup tools scan for temporary files you could delete yourself in 30 seconds using Windows' built-in storage manager. The dark web monitoring alerts you to breached emails, but free services like Have I Been Pwned do the same thing, often faster and more comprehensively. The password manager is typically stripped down compared to dedicated options like Bitwarden, lacking features like secure sharing or emergency access. You're paying for a bundle where three features help and the rest justify the price tag. So what actually works best in 2026 for most people? If you're tech savvy and don't share your computer with people who trust every pop-up, skip paid antivirus. Build a proper security stack for yourself instead. Get a real password manager, so every login uses a unique, randomly generated password. This single step prevents credential stuffing attacks, where hackers use leaked passwords from one site to break into your other accounts. Enable two-factor authentication on everything important – email, banking, social media. Turn on automatic updates for your OS and applications, because most exploits target unpatched software, sometimes vulnerabilities that were fixed months ago but you never installed. Practice browser hygiene. Install uBlock Origin. Check URLs before entering passwords. 
Don't install extensions unless you trust the developer. That combo beats any antivirus suite because you're addressing actual 2026 attack vectors, not cartoon viruses from 2005. But paid antivirus makes sense for specific situations. Buying a computer for parents who forward chain emails and believe Facebook giveaways? Pay for Bitdefender or ESET. Got kids who'll click anything promising free Robux or exclusive Fortnite skins? Invest in something with strong phishing protection. Managing a shared family computer where one mistake affects everyone? The guardrails are worth it. You're not paying for superior detection. You're paying for insurance against human error. It's like buying a bike lock, not because your bike is valuable, but because you park in a sketchy neighborhood and forget where you left it. Here's what nobody tells you about modern security. Most successful attacks in 2026 exploit your behavior, not your software. They rely on you being tired or distracted when you click that link at the end of a long workday. They count on you reusing passwords, so one breach compromises everything. Your email, your bank, your social media, all falling like dominoes. They bet on you ignoring updates because they're annoying and pop up at inconvenient times. No antivirus can patch human vulnerability. The most expensive security suite can't save you from yourself on a bad day. The best security system is between your ears, and it requires constant updates, just like Defender. The other thing people miss is opportunity cost. That $80 a year could pay for a real password manager with family sharing. It could cover encrypted cloud backup that protects your files even if ransomware gets through. It could fund a privacy-focused VPN from a reputable company that actually doesn't log your activity and has been independently audited to prove it. You're making a trade-off between feeling safe and actually being safe. Those aren't always the same thing. This matters because the security industry profits from your fear. They sell the feeling of protection more than actual protection. Every pop-up warning, every advanced AI-powered threat detection phrase, every dashboard showing threats blocked, it's designed to make you feel vulnerable and grateful for their protection. The threats are real. Your need for their specific solution? That's debatable. I'm not saying these companies are evil, but the gap between what they promise and what they deliver is filled with marketing smoke. Let's look at what this means practically. Say you click a phishing link in an email. Paid antivirus might catch the malicious site before it loads. Windows Defender won't. But if you have a password manager, you'll notice it doesn't autofill credentials because the URL doesn't match. That's your warning system. Or imagine ransomware tries encrypting your files. Paid antivirus might block it with behavioral detection. But if you have cloud backup, you can restore everything even if it succeeds. The point is, layered defenses beat any single solution. Antivirus is one layer, but it's not the most important one anymore. Here's the distinction that matters most. Antivirus defends against threats you accidentally encounter. Password managers and two-factor authentication defend against threats that specifically target you. Browser hygiene defends against threats disguised as legitimate content. Cloud backup defends against threats that get through everything else. You need multiple layers because modern attacks are sophisticated and adaptive. They probe for weaknesses in your habits, not just your software. A security stack addresses that reality. Antivirus alone doesn't. To recap, modern attacks are phishing, fake downloads, and social engineering that exploit trust and fatigue, not traditional viruses. Windows Defender handles old-school threats for free, but can't stop bad decisions. Paid antivirus bundles features, but only a few are genuinely useful beyond marketing padding. The security stack that works is password manager plus two-factor authentication plus automatic updates plus browser hygiene. If you're protecting someone who clicks everything or managing a shared computer, paid antivirus is reasonable insurance. You're not paying to stop viruses. You're paying for guardrails. So be honest in the comments. Are you running paid antivirus or are you raw-dogging the internet with just Defender? And if you're paying, which bundled features do you actually use versus which ones just sit there making you feel safer?